<clears throat> ADA parking, you could label it ADA parking and then put shading like the other folks mm -hmm. did, shading on the center, the, 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 the okay. one between two ADAs, and then that's it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep. So you have B wall, you have a uh, T wall, uh, they're fine. They're fine. Yeah. So <clears throat> I wouldn't say T wall here is, uh, it's enough. T wall here would be needing to be at 1102, depending on, yeah, this is two, right? It needs to be at two, 2.5. <clears throat> well, this one would be 2.5, and this one cannot exceed four feet, so it needs to be one, right? So you would have two T walls, in fact, for this, for okay. these two. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 101. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these, uh, you can curve it. You can curve it. Um, so let's see your bottom have to be nine, eight. <clears throat> This will be below 98, okay? Mm -hmm. It will be 2% down. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is 97. Mm -hmm. um, you do need RDIs here though, because these are, you don't have anything else down, downstream. So you need RDIs that are below, if you set RDI at 6.7 here, that would be correct, okay? The, the highest if you can set it would be 6.7 because uh, that's the one foot depth. <clears throat> and then you would have a six contour, that's six contour, yeah, you labeled that as six and HP equals to 1096, good. Um, but your 1096 contour needs to go around though. Okay, we'll need to add another contour here going around. That's all the reason that you can shape them, shape them, um, on the side. So you would do something, ah, <laughs> you intend to do that, something like this. And then your five contour would go, you would, you would try to make your five contour stay where it is. Yeah, if we need to move it a little bit here, then this can, uh, this, this retention can go inside. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. okay. <clears throat> they will be the same numbers. It will be the num same numbers. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> all the all the ones, all the symbols that you used in the drawing would need to be here. If you have a BTD, for instance, that needs to happen there. Yeah. So CC, TV, um, no. BC, TC, no, top of stairs, um, bottom stairs, top of ramp, bottom ramp, ADA, um, slope arrow, um, retaining wall, you, ha you have retaining walls, and uh, what else? Um, center line, do you have center line? Yeah, yes, yes, you have center line. Uh, you would call it center line. Not swell simply because your ridge line is the same line type. Yep. CCDI, FFE, uh, you would say TFFE, BFFE. <clears throat> um, yeah, RDI needs to be there. Those are the things that I, I can. I can. Uh-huh, uh-huh, right, right. Mm-hmm, 
Yeah. Um, did we say we need a we need a graphic scale as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you we, we have this that's the text scale. Um oh there, you can move it out. You can move it out at the bottom to put to be at the bottom of the north arrow. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. All righty, we're getting close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Extender here. Mm. No. Okay. Jane. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um, um, sounds good. We'll we'll take a look at the um the contours um on the left. Um Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you have a you have a less complicated divergence well uh because of your, your base design. So so uh it wouldn't no, we can go through that. <clears throat> you mind if I go get some more?
Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to the to the contours in that area. Uh, so the contour numbers per, currently are correct, right? One, yeah. one, zero. Okay. <clears throat> You need to connect back to 10. So your 10 is okay. Um, the 12 is a little over complicated. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> this was the original 13. 13 can stay. 12. So if that's your one, 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 we just need two more lines in between, right? You can just do a gradual transition like a fan type of um, a shape. <clears throat> so that's 13, that's 12, 11, and then 10. Now go back to 12. 12, you, yeah, you connect it back here, that's okay. 13 can stay, you can end your curve somewhere here in order for it to stay, okay? Uh, <clears throat> or you gotta keep this curve and then just do a little bit of different like this. Ah, oh, that's the bad color. You could do curve on one side, no curve on the other side. Does that make sense? Yeah, so 12 goes like this and now I'll need to go back to 12. 12 is over here, right? And 11, <clears throat> goes back to 11 somewhere here and then 10 goes to here and then go back to or 10 10 is right there that's how you connect um and then <clears throat> this one cannot directly go here because this portion still it was modified right so that goes basically like that then you're fine Right, so, and this one goes back. Always remember there's a curb. And then that one goes, start to form your derivative as well. Make sense? Yeah. Um, my 11 is here. I'm missing 11, 11 goes like this. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so that's the contour over there. Um, remember to fix this area too, because we are still having conflicts of, of, of contours. I need to keep moving these until they get back to a bit below 25%. So those are a few contours that you need to add in that area. Okay, so that's the contours. Um, next thing we wanna look at is your divergence well here. <clears throat> so your water is draining this direction and that direction. So we at least need to have, this is a relatively small area. So let's have one, one cell here and then one cell at the end. Um, that one goes here. Here. This is the center, this is the biggest one. So before it gets to the biggest one, let's add another one. That's that one. Before it gets back, oh, let's put it in the middle. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now we need to work on the contours around it. So these, oh, that is a closed contour. This is a closed contour. And this one, I know, I'll move the, the location. We'll move up like this. And that's part of the divergence well. I'll move it up a little so it tucks in between these two. Okay, you can make it larger there like that. So next one is this contour. And then do the same thing. It goes up like this. And that's my other divergence well contour. And then I will make it skinnier so that it can fit in between. 
need to I need to rotate it, but it's hard. So yeah, <laughs> I'll leave it be. Yep. Um, these are the the ones that are minimal that you have to have. <clears throat> then let's um take a look at the other contour here. Uh, seems like there's still some problems with the contours. Yeah, no, these are closed contours inside, right? You know, these are these are contours that needs to go in the middle and then go out, right? It doesn't connect. Yeah, this is a seven. Seven goes like this. <clears throat> Yeah, that's the seven contour. <clears throat> and then your six contour needs to happen somewhere down here. Another six needs to come. I'll, I'll need to figure out, okay, six out. Um, six, that's five point something. Six actually needs to be um, in between these two. Another six. Your six now goes like this, which yeah, which is reasonable. But your six, that's more like it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Um, the six and that six, they need to be twenty five feet apart. This one and the upper. Um, and then <clears throat> you need to adjust the, the, the retention area and then uh, look at the relationship between your, your retention and the, the six. Does that make sense? This yeah. one, this one will just need to be connected to the swell line there, the swell connection there. You know? These are, uh, make sure that my retention connects to the purple line a pink line, so this is receiving water from the from the um, the drop off area, okay. And then <clears throat> once you figure out the elevations of this uh, retention, then you can take a look at what where six needs to be. Yeah, your soil ends there. You don't need the, the the one that's below. You do not, yeah, yeah. You don't need this one. You do not need this one because this is far away from the curb. Uh, you 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 would try not to direct them having to convey water for a long time and then it gets to somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very likely, it's actually very likely that your uh this this one is right here and actually your six will go around it. It should, yeah, that, that should be that should be the case because you know water here is lower than five coming down. I mean, oh, sorry, lower than six, point five point seven. So your low point would be um five for instance five. So your six contour is over here, you would have a so the overall, this area will be lower than six. So your six actually, the red six actually goes on the upper side of this of the retention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. This is this is closed, uh, yeah. but then there is another six, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Right. You have a closed one, but you also have another one that needs to be not in the parking lot space. <clears throat> yeah. So we have seven, we have six. Um, these contours seems to be, we, we went through these. Um, that one we did as well. So you would, you would just keep moving these contours so that they connect to the correct one. This is the nine. Nine needs to be down here. So that's where I connect. So some adjustment in this area yeah. <clears throat> so that you have a divergent swell going like this. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, 
Okay, we need to move again on the contour over here. Um, I think something happened. Let's see. I'm trying. This is seven. Oh. Uh, oh, actually. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a little confusing. You have this and go down that, and this actually is your um, is your parking lot contour, not this one. This one is the the one that's up. Okay, this one is the one that's up. So <clears throat> that continues. This continues, and. And then it goes out like this. Does that make sense? <clears throat> yes. Just a second. Let me try to. So this is seven. Dun, 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 dun. Um, yep, it wraps around this area. <clears throat> and then goes like this. So that's more that's more of it. Okay, this one goes like this. And then I'll need to find out <clears throat> where it connects um, to the other. The other seven. A. Just a second. I got a little confused. <clears throat> so originally this is it. And uh, that's the same 107. Ah, <laughs> I know. Okay, I know where I got confused. I'm sorry. Let me start this. <clears throat> So that's the other seven. This is the So, um, Jane, some of the, the lines here, this needs to be in the, um, that's the parking lot, and there is another line in the middle, somewhere like this. We missed one of these. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the roundabout wasn't wasn't dropped correctly. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> let me let me clear this so that we can we can I'm I'm gonna use um a thinner line to to plot out the original one. Okay, that's the original one. This is the original one. And that's the um the original one. This is the original one. So we missed <clears throat> once we once we dropped it. Yeah, uh, we, we had a, a few mistakes here. Okay. <clears throat> this was the original one. And uh, this was the original one. So. Uh, 
At some point, yeah, at some point, some things got off. So that needs to be attached to the wall like that. Um, and this was the original six, it needs to come somewhere to the wall here. So uh, brown, <clears throat> brown is original, okay? Now we'll need to drop it. <clears throat> Once we drop it, we need a thicker one. This becomes nine. That becomes the parking lot one. And we're missing something in the middle. And the, the spacing here seems a little off. Um, so that is actually your parking lot contour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, 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 go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. So, These two needs to be no if if that's the case, if this is the case, then that's your that's your <clears throat> dropped. Oh, I see. So I just like mm -hmm. yeah. yes, 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 yeah, yeah. So, oh, okay. so I'm gonna draw the, the ones that are remaining, okay? <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with 07. 07 goes like this. It's actually going along this curve and the little sliver, can you see that? Yeah, that goes along here and then goes like this and then goes out. And then that forms, oh, okay. yeah, that forms your swale, okay? Yeah, there's another, there's another seven here, okay? That's a closed contour. <clears throat> yeah, it needs to be attached to here. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the other seven is this one. Sorry, I'm using the same color. This is another seven. Okay, that's your other seven. <clears throat> and then let's do six. Six goes down like this, and then it wraps around. Well, oh, let's see. There's a six coming down like this, right? Does that make sense? That's your six. Okay. Okay. And then the other six goes down like that. Uh, no, 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 no. Wrong way. down, go there, 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 there. That's your six, okay? <clears throat> um, oh, eight. Mm. I'm trying to find the middle. And then goes like this and then goes up. Okay, that's eight. <clears throat> you have a tiny little bit of eight over here too. And then everything else, uh, you can follow the ones. Yeah, you should be able to know. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, so those are the contours. Um, for the for, for the ramp, do make sure that you have a side slope. Okay, side slope. Side slope. Okay, so that's that. Um, remind me other questions. Let's see. Oh. Yes. Um, <clears throat> this one needs to go back to closer to the turnaround, meaning that need to be here. The reason being. I have a swell here and I have a dead end right here. Water has nowhere else to go. And you need to have a curb cut there. Okay, I have a curb cut and this water is treating the drop off. And this one instead is treating the plaza water. So move both up, okay? This one moves there and that one moves over. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it connects. Yeah, connects. Uh, my, my square so like, is that yes. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know exactly where it is. You, if you have room, I don't know if you have more room there. See how how um how wide this is. How wide this is. Okay. Um I'm if that's five feet, you can have a ramp right here. Uh, go up, <clears throat> your ramp will go like this and then go there. Yeah, so yes. You would want to consolidate these two so both of them can use the, the ramp instead of having this person coming over. If this is parked, right, then it's hard for, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Move the move the shading and put them together. Yeah, move it. yeah. <clears throat> All right. How do my contours work with my ADA round? Um, uh, on my roundabout. No. Oh, we need another ramp, uh, though somewhere here, okay. And uh, for this area, it's actually you no. Know, this might not be a bad location for a ramp. Um, then you could you could put your ADA somewhere here, so when they drive over and they turn and then. No, they would already see the ramp here. Then they could come, yeah, they, they could come over. Uh, well, you do have a lim you do have a limitation here where this is pretty narrow. It's better if you have more room here so that folks can drive through, but then people can can be dropped off with another lane, right? So if, if you could enlarge this area by one more lane, then it makes more sense to have a drop off over here. Um, if that's not, I would still recommend you try to incorporate that if you have time. If you don't have time, then you know, don't, don't, don't do that because you might make more 
changes that are not current, then that's hurt. That would be hurting your grade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, make the ADA over here and put the ramp over there. If you if you choose not to have a ramp over here. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. okay. Sounds good. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. All right, Shelly. Remember to see Sandberg. No. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, let's see. We'll take a look at the wrap. So we have the ramp now, um, but we haven't graded the ramp. Get the ramp contours there, right? Um, the location seems fine. The it goes down to the lower plaza. Okay, for the contours, for now, if you if you uh, design it for seven and six point five percent, you need landing. So it might not, not be long enough for the landing. Okay. So if you do 5%, then it's 200 feet long. Then you would likely need to do something like this, make it longer. I don't know how long, um, but let's suppose that this works. Okay. Let's suppose that uh, this is enough length. If this is enough length, what you need to do first is to figure out the elevations here, which is calculated based on the plaza. Uh, in your case, it will be, that's eight. So it will be slightly above 1108, okay? You, you have 8.2, that's good. Um, I'll move that one to see what that is, what this is. It, this one would not be a two, well, if this is entirely parallel, then it is, but it's not entirely parallel. So this elevation will be slightly above your 2.0, okay? So those become your top of ramp elevation. Now you look at the bottom FFE, you have 98.5, and here the bottom of the ramp would be determined by this slope, right? So I would expect that to be the above 97, something like this, okay? So if my law, if my spot over here is 98.2, um, you measure the distances, okay? I measure distances from here to that line, measure the distance from here to that line, you would know what the elevations here would be, okay? Um, well, let's let's be a little more accurate. So I have this line basically being 08, okay, a 98. So let's see if that's the case. Yeah, if that's the case, this is 7.8 probably. And the bottom one would be 7.8. Six, five, even or seven. Does that make sense? The bottom of the ramp would be calculated based on the lower ramp, a uh, lower plaza. And if if my if if this this whole line is at ninety eight, this is close to ninety eight. That's even lower, further than ninety eight. Okay. So now I have my top of ramp and bottom of ramp elevation. After that, I would do a 5% slope, right? So if this is 1108.20, and this is 1108.30, that's a little higher. This one is a little higher. Then when I do a 5% slope, I need to find which contour, 08, right? 08 contour would be somewhere here. But you need to measure 5% it will be six feet away, six feet away from the point three, right? And then four feet away from, uh, yeah, four feet away from the uh, 1108.2. Does that make sense? So this is your first contour. 
Now, after that, you just do 20 feet apart. Okay, I don't know how, uh, that's probably too far away. Uh, you just might need to make, you, you offset this by, not offset, measure 20 feet and make them 20 feet apart. And that's my seven, that's my six, and that is my five. And then after I get to the landing, the landing needs to be about 2%. So I need to go longer to find where my four is, okay? So let's see if I made it correct. I have eight, and then I have seven, and I have six, and then I have five, and then this is four. Okay, so once I have four, I'll move forward with three, two, one. I'm actually not, I'm not, not sure if the estimate was relatively correct, but I'm running out of room. Can you see that? Yeah, but um, my, my goal is to get to 98 at somewhere here, right? So this needs to be eight. So nine, zero, one, two, three, four. So I am I'm not having enough room. So I need to make my ramp longer if that's the case. Nine, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. So that's all the contours that I fit in. I'm just gonna, this is too big. That's the two. So that's the goal. You need to have this many contours, okay? Once you have that, you start to connect, right? Uh, I'll look at where my eight is. Eight <laughs> is here. And then I need to connect to my eight over here. And then I need to find out where eight is. Uh, it's if it looks like I'm running a little bit out of room here. So I might want to you know, change these so that I make more room for my for my eight here. So my eight then can go like this. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's my eight. Okay, I can move it a little bit more over because I anticipate my seven and six and all needs to connect in that area. Now let's do the seven. Seven is over here. Ah, seven is over here and then I'll go up and drag it up and then connect to the wall like that, okay? And then I'll do my six. Six is going to be like this. And uh, five, that's five. Yep, yeah, five does that. And then four, three, two, one, zero, nine, eight. I know we're running a little bit out of room here. So once you lengthen your ramp, we should we should be okay. Um, now we're getting down to seven. Seven goes to, so this is your eight. Seven goes to about here. Okay. You don't need you don't need all the retaining walls out there. You should you should be able to go, for instance, the seven feels like you can connect directly seven over here. Um, looking for where seven is on the other side. If this is five, that's seven. So seven is over here. So your your wall this on that side might be long, that long. Okay, this is your seven, and that's your seven, and uh, this is your eight. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And then your six don't need to move anymore, right? Six can hit the hit the uh, six is uh, somewhere, where is it? Six is over here, no? Six is over here. It goes like this, and then it just 
continue. You don't have to move six. All right. Okay. So that is your the back and the ramp. All right. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at any other things you wanna. Oh, you have. Oh, um, if you can hop down, Jonathan or Kyle. No, talk to them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better if you drag them out and uh, mask other locations where you have less detail. Leader line, yes. Yeah, you, you try to you try to move the text to where there's less content. Otherwise, if you mask them, you know, all the lines will be break, broken down and then you cannot figure out what they actually look like. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, yeah. <laughs> Thank you again for your patience.